Welcome beautiful souls to another episode of the Spiritual Catalyst podcast where we talk about all things weird and woo. I am your host Sarah Lyons, the founder of the newearthschool.com.au and today we have the beautiful Petra Valnikova with us to talk about unlocking your potential and harnessing the power of chakras and micro chakras. Petra is a gifted witch and energy worker with over 20 years of experience. She guides individuals on their healing journeys through the voice unleashing unleashing approach. Her expertise is in Reiki, theta healing and chakra balancing, empowering her clients to unlock their potential and embrace their true selves. I love this. Welcome, Petra. Thank you for the introduction. So welcome. So let's talk about about this unlocking uh, unlocking your potential and harnessing the power of chakras and micro chakras. Yeah, I I think that I would like to concentrate more on the micro chakras and the chakras because majority of people knows the seven main ones. Yes, we are somehow forgetting the little ones. Yes. Especially at our extremities, which is quite a shame because yeah. we can help ourselves in lots of situations when we know how to use them because not every time we have the time to really go and connect. Oh, okay, I need to concentrate on my communication. So I go and touch my circle and do meditation, whatever, but I can go and massage my middle finger, you know, if I have a presentation or something and it will help me to go through <laughs> I this love is the middle that. finger. It's connected to this chakra, you know. Beautiful. This is fascinating. So, so if you're working with a woman in unlocking her potential, I see you do a lot of work with um, introvert women and their voice, which I just love. I am an introvert woman, and I love introvert women. <laughs> How would you support <laughs> them with their micro chakras? With that. Hmm. That's okay. As I said, you know, when we are introverted, we are scared to go to a presentation or to the podcast like that, you know, or whatever it is, even though maybe just the voice would be recorded and not your face, but for so many people, that could be a barrier. So as I spoke about the middle finger, just connected to our Yes. throat chakra which is the center of communication and when you know when you are massaging and why you are having the conversation that's not something weird but maybe if you will be on the stage and touching your leg <laughs> that's not exactly what you would like to do so you can go and do little things like that obviously you can support yourself with a turquoise colored you know with a little stone or whatever in the area as ladies it's easy things to do yeah. <laughs> um, and if you are men obviously you can you can put a little mark you know on on your collar or something it doesn't have true. to be something huge <laughs> true true and I'd love to hear more about this um what would you do in a typical session with a client for unlocking their potential and working with the micro chakras? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think to do locking in potential, it has lots of to do with the second chakra, as we call it, the sacral chakra, whatever it is. And lots of people talk about the sexuality and so on. And so we are so scared about this chakra. The mm -hmm. problem is that the creativity and sexual energy is the same energy. So we can't be scared of sexual energy and then go and say, yeah, I'm looking for creativity. That's a little bit difficult <laughs> to do. So we need to realize that they are the same, just depend how we use it and when we use it. So I think that's the first thing. And especially for us as a woman, it's very important to embrace this part mm -hmm. of us because there are all the reproductive um, organs for us and also we store lots of emotion there are lots of emotion so i think that would be the first things to connect with mm -hmm. that's important and the, the second chakra is connected with the pinky so yeah. Yeah, yeah if you need to connect with your creativity you can and go and you know massage a pinky and Ooh. just connect it with through the pinky through that to this area so yeah yeah 
that I love an that. important step to do. It is. It is, so is. And I, I witness a lot of women, especially introverts, really holding back online with their content, with that level of visibility. What sort of tips would you give to them? Because I know they're, I know they're holding back. Um, they're obviously, you know, they're not stepping into that full potential, which means they're not really living the mission that they came here to live. So it's a really, this is really important. <laughs> I do. Okay, you know, when I talk to living p- human beings, you know, it's not that just like I'm recording a video and then someone will see it, but when I'm talking to people, I do the things that I basically paint people on the on blue. Because blue is the color of confidence and also it helps you connect with your intuition. And also it's a little bit silly. So, you know, it gives you this idea that, okay, it's not that important. I can relax a little bit, you know. Make it a little bit fun from that. You know, don't take yourself and the people you are talking too seriously. And you will do mistakes. I do mistakes. I even make, I even record podcasts when I make, you know, I said that it's third chakra and it was fourth. So these things happened. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Exactly. And I'm so glad you said that, Petra, because there is such a level of fear in the industry what if I mess up? What if someone judges me? Because it does happen. We do get judged when we put ourselves out there. And it really does come to that, come down to that confidence and self-acceptance. Like you said, not taking ourselves too seriously. If we mess up, it's okay. It makes us human. <laughs> so I'd love to hear, do you incorporate your witchy self into how you lead your women? Okay, I see rich not just as something, someone who is connected to nature or, you know, do something magical, but I see it also as an archetype of women, which mm. lots of us has suppressed. Yeah. I understand the history, I understand why it happened, that's okay. Yeah. But if we see it as a part of ourselves mm. and we are afraid of a witch, it's difficult to incorporate that part. And I'm not saying there is not there is there are not evil people in the field. There are evil people in every field. So Absolutely. it's important to understand that. Mm-hmm. And when you understand that which is someone who was basically a shaman of yeah. Europe in the old times, you can see that it's someone who speaks to you know spirits, to nature, to herbs ask them for the advice. So when you start to incorporating this part of you that is in the nature, Mm -hmm. you start seeing yourself with different lenses. You start to see this one, that it's not just this one that you should be, you know, in this world, like the good girl, you know, and go to the standards and whatever it is, wear makeup, whatever it is for you. It depends when you grow up you start to see yourself, okay, I maybe need a relax today. I maybe need a drink of water. It could be these little things. We don't need something huge. We're still expecting that it has to be some big vision or whatever, you know. Yeah. But it's these little things. Just listen, my body, like, okay, I am here. Yeah, that's beautiful. And I, I totally agree with you. I, I don't use the label which very rarely these days for myself anyway, because I see it more as a way of life. It's a way of living, it's using intention. Um, it's beautiful, really beautiful. Uh, so is that something you teach? it's a way of living as well. Yes. But I think it's just one part of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what would, what would, um, I know every single client is so different and unique in their own ways, but what do the women typically come to you for? Usually, okay, you're too, you know, they're introverts where, you know, like I, I can't go beyond this, whatever it is, you know, I can't go live, I can't. You know, I have these amazing uh, articles that I wrote, but I'm not able to push the publish button. Mm-hmm. Or they are, they are the ones that already are a little bit on the journey, but they are hitting the plateau. You know, they are like, you know, Petra, I can't do more than this. You know, one life, and 
that's it, a month or something like that, you know. So when they can't go, they tried different things and it didn't work. And usually there is a little bit more beyond that. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that the technique you are using, it, it's not working, but there is some underlying problem that it needs to be solved first. Yeah, yeah. And I just have one more question for you, and that is, what is your perspective on why we are we are introverts? <laughs> why are you introverts? Hmm. I think that... You know, I have people that they were learned to be introverts due to where they grew up. Yeah. And they that they don't have other option than to become because their extroverted personality was not welcome. That's yeah. one part. Yeah. And there's other group of people where are naturally more introspective, you know, more like the inner world, the dream world maybe. And it's also sometimes difficult to go out of this dream world to the reality and, you know, find a balance between these two. I get that. Uh, I, I know for me it was definitely a mixture of the two. I, I was born an introvert. <laughs> But also, you know, those, those those situations in our lives where we realise actually maybe it's safer just not to be seen. <laughs> and and exactly. what about you? Were you? Do you feel like you were born an introvert, or was this something that you grew into? I am naturally introverted, but I know I had a lot of situation when it was better to shut up yeah. because I don't have much reward for it I'm sorry because yeah. as I was born with a gift I saw lots of things that for me was not fair but I couldn't speak about it because I don't would like to be the bad one you know in the girl because yeah. I said this about one no one have to tell me I just saw what is happening you know because I yes. see things that normal people close <laughs> Totally, totally. And I, I'm so grateful that you're sitting here today on this podcast as a powerful woman who is an introvert leading other women out there to unlock their potential. So thank you so much for that. I think it's important that we speak about introversy because mm. I believe lots of business work today, it's made for extrovert people. Yes. And then it's difficult for introverts to navigate in it. So I think it's really important we talk about it. So it you. really is. Thank you so much. It really is so, so important. And I'm so glad that we have women like you and myself and those other women who understand this very important aspect uh, of other introverts who want to rise, but maybe they're a little bit scared. So for those women listening who do resonate with this message today, where can they find you? On my Facebook, you, my name. Uh, I'm a unique under name, so you will find just me. That's okay. <laughs> I've, got, I've got the link and I'll make sure we pop that in the episode. Yeah, because yeah, if I say my surname, you don't know how to write it. So, yeah. <laughs> Totally fine. I'll, I'll make sure that link's there. And I know there's also a link to book a complimentary call with Petra for anyone who is interested in going to that next level. So uh, thank you so much again for being here with us today. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. And thank you to our beautiful listeners. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving us a review and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.